Now we are in the penalty area room. Take a look around. So much history, right? These walls that hold up the Pacaembu Stadium are packed with images and collector's items, from top to bottom. Mascots, pennants, mugs, pins, tickets to past games, just about everything you can imagine. For a long time, almost everything in here was about men's football. And practically everything that existed around here about women in the sport were images showing them as objects of desire. I mean, honestly. Women represented in provocative clothing or portrayed as fragile, sensitive, simple-minded beings. Basically, none of which made us think of them as athletes or leading actors of their own experience. In spite of that, with a good bit of research, we were able to unearth a bunch of neat stuff. Since 2015, we've had here the very first official sticker album of the Brazilian women's team. There is no shortage of accomplishments for women in football. That said, have you ever noticed how hard it is to find a trophy, one of those golden ones, with the figure of a woman footballer perched atop? Inside this room, on the left, we have a rare specimen. See if you can actually find it. We also have images of a stamp that shows women playing football, tickets to the Women's World Cup games, and the armband of our Brazilian former captain and defender, Juliana Cabral. And football gave me all of that. Football was where I channeled my energy. All my energies were concentrated in football, towards what I wanted. I learned to respect others. I learned to listen to others. I learned to have a posture. I learned how to behave. Even with the fight for equality in football, the difference in representation is huge. It is much easier to find team jerseys made for men than it is for women to this day. The prizes awarded at women's championships are much more modest than those at men's tournaments. But those still shouldn't be enough reasons to give up. The women's movement has made a huge difference. Today, in 2021, Brazil hold two divisions of the National League, significant state championships, grassroots tournaments, and TV broadcasts of the women's national team games, including the World Cup. Is the road long? Of course it is. It's like running a round-robin tournament. Every day, we can advance a little more. Especially because we have great women in our football, like Marta, elected six times the best player of the planet and the greatest World Cup scorer amongst men and women alike. When I stop to think, some images from my childhood come up of when I played in a little space and it wasn't even a field. It was this raw dirt space that we had where I played with my cousins, my friends, entirely barefoot, really my bare feet on the ground. When she and Cristiani, or pioneers like Sissi and Formiga, began their game, things were a little more rough. New generations lucked out for having great examples by which to be inspired. All right, let's go. I'll meet you over there in the next episode in the Kicking the Ball Room. <laughs>